Hey YouTube, this is my Season 2 prediction video for Daredevil. Fans of Daredevil are awaiting Season 2 coming March 18th, and already the speculation for what might be coming is flying. Two characters have been mentioned, Elektra and the Punisher. But apart from the teaser, a few interviews, and of course Season 1 itself, we can only predict what Season 2 holds for us. So here are 11 predictions for Season 2 of Daredevil. 11. The Punisher will pose a moral and physical challenge to the Daredevil. It's almost certain that the Punisher plays a major role in Season 2. The inner moral conflict of Season 1 where Matt struggled with the question of whether it is ethical to kill an evil man, the Kingpin, is strained by the arrival of the Punisher, who is always killing evil people as quickly as possible. If the Punisher's solutions to dealing with evil don't change Matt's mind, it will at least force him to think about what makes him different from Frank Castle. In the comics, as it is with the show, that's what provides the dynamics to their relationship. 10. Matt Murdock and Elektra will have about the same relationship as they did in the comics, both past and present. A lot of backstory from Frank Miller's comics is being used in the Netflix series, and that story includes a romantic interlude with a woman who has her own set of father issues similar to Matt, and like him, she was destined for violence. Elodie Jung, a French actress with Asian heritage, has been cast in the role of the traditionally Greek Electrum Nechios, and that might mean there will be slight changes to her backstory. Number 9. Kingpin will not be in Season 2. One of Season 1's most valuable players was Kingpin, played to perfection by Vincent D'Onofrio. Only the first season footage of him has turned up in the teaser for Season 2. But Season 1 was stronger for having a good ending. Seeing Kingpin in custody of the state and having him get out of prison so quickly after the efforts employed to get him there would ruin that ending. Although, having Kingpin get away would give weight to the Punisher's likely argument that Daredevil should have killed Kingpin in the first place, but bringing Wilson Fisk back would steal the focus from Elektra and the Punisher. But I wouldn't be surprised if Kingpin puts in a cameo appearance. Just don't expect him to be the main villain in Season 2. Number 8. Claire Temple won't be on screen so much in Season 2. The compassionate and passionate character played by Rosario Dawson is the glue that holds Netflix Marvel's Daredevil show together. With people like Matt, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist always needing medical attention off the record, it's a good thing Claire Temple is on duty. Or, uh, off. She is confirmed to be returning in Season 2, but her romance with Matt will likely be put on the back burner since we have the Electra matt karen triangle already. Marvel also doesn't want to overuse her so they can link the various characters together for the Defenders series coming in 2018 or so. Number 7. With Elektra returning, Karen will gravitate to Foggy. Looking at the set photos, we see hints that there is a blossoming romance between Matt Murdock and Karen Page. Remember in Season 1, she is impressed by both Nelson and Murdock? While Matt is a brooding, mysterious, and strong man, even without his costume, and Foggy is an approachable, huggable guy. And with Electra back in the picture, Matt is likely to focus on the obsessive Electra. Whether Karen falls in love with Foggy or just becomes close friends, we predict she'll be closer to Foggy than to Matt by the end of Season 2. Number 6. Karen will find out that Matt is the Daredevil. By the end of Season 1, she was already looking at Matt a little funny, so she may already suspect the truth. Compare Daredevil to Jessica Jones, where Jessica keeps darker secrets from Luke, but they discover each other's powers fairly quickly. Number 5. Bullseye will appear. With the rumor that Jason Statham was to play Bullseye debunked and the character not showing up on any cast lists, doesn't mean Bullseye won't make it to the show. Marvel, Netflix, and ABC have all introduced characters later in the first seasons that were not in the promotions. Bullseye would further complicate the relationships of Daredevil, Elektra, and the Punisher and would add his own psychopathic amorality to the mix, giving us four main characters and a wild ride through the 13 episodes of Season 2. Number 4. Elektra will be alive by Season 2's end. Since Marvel is courting female fans with Jessica Jones, Agent Carter, S.H.I.E.L.D., etc., I tend to think they would want to keep Elektra around, 
There are a couple of ways Electra can escape death. One is to delay her fight with Bullseye that was in the Frank Miller comics and the 2003 movie. And the other is if she dies, she is resurrected in a similar way Coulson was brought back for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But Season 1's conflicts and comic tradition points to her dying. So this prediction is probably not the safest bet. Number 3. If they kill Elektra, it will be the Punisher who does the deed. Some of these predictions might not come true. I'm sure a few of them could be wrong. It might become necessary to preserve the drama of the Daredevil series to kill off Elektra. Jessica Jones is well known for doing away with characters that don't deserve it. Rest in peace, Ben Urich. The Punisher could be the means of her death, just to shake things up and try to keep viewers off guard, or to add tension between the Punisher and Matt. Number 2. Mobsters and Ninja will vie to fill Kingpin's shoes. Strong hints in Season 1 show us that the Hand, a ninja mafia of sorts, live in the shadows of Daredevil's world, and they were also featured in the comics and had connections to Elektra. The Mobsters and Ninja will see Kingpin's absence as a great opportunity to take over, or they could just be cannon fodder for the Punisher. Number 1. The Punisher will be imprisoned by the end of Season 2. According to showrunner Doug Petrie, taking lethal justice into your own hands in America 2015 is tricky, or 2016 for that matter. Don't look for the Punisher to make the transition from Spider-Man Daredevil villain to superhero in the TV series like he did in the comics. Netflix Marvel liked to end their seasons with a sense of closure. The Kingpin was jailed, Kilgrave is dead, and Frank Castle is sure to follow in the footsteps of one of those two. Well, that's it. Like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe.